This isn't what you want to see when you look under your truck first thing in the morning. Your catalytic converter seemingly hanging by a thread. And a problem that seems to be getting even worse. Catalytic converter thefts. Police say thefts are up nearly 400%. Law enforcement wheeling out barrels of catalytic converters. Yeah, just trying to figure out what's going on. Led officers to recover 17 pallets of catalytic converters. The arrests follow another large-scale converter bus in North Harris County last month. Neighbors praising the efforts of law enforcement, but never thought it would happen so close to home. Today we're installing a Miller Cat catalytic converter shield on a 2018 Toyota 4Runner. Uh, the cat shield kit here is uh, designed to work on the 2014 to 2022 uh, Toyota 4Runner. Um, this is actually the SR5 model. If you have one that has the X3S suspension or the KDDS suspension, you're going to have to order a different shield, which Miller Cat does offer on their website. So I'll leave a link down below where you can go check that out and determine whether or not you have the X3S suspension or the KDDS. That's usually like the off-road or luxury package. Uh, but yeah, here's their shield here. It comes in three pieces. Um, it is aluminum. They do offer a stainless version, but this one's aluminum. It's 14 gauge. Um, it's just pretty thick. And it comes with some really good instructions and some stainless steel hardware here with tamper proof screws, okay? And it will come with the two bits you're going to need to install it, okay? Because there's two different sizes here. And they simply just go in on your drill, replace your Phillips bit. You're also gonna need just a socket set uh, with a 12 millimeter to uh, take off the brackets off the foreigner to install, which is super duper easy. Um, if you do wanna get one of these kits, um, I do have a coupon code that gets you 5% off and free shipping. It's Donnie the Late Model Tech. So check that out, There'll be the link will be down below for that. And the shield right here will not interfere with your service, like your oil changes or having any of the front end work done to your car. Um, where it bolts onto, it's uh, not in the way of any of that, so you never have to take it off once you install this thing, which is really, really cool. Oh, and there is also this other little plate in the box. This isn't really a shield, it's a plate to help you with the install to make it more secure. Don't want to forget about that. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install the side shields, and it's really hard to mess this up. It's super duper easy, but we're just going to get one of these small tamper-proof screws we have here. Put a lock washer on it, and then a normal washer on it. And we're gonna use, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of these guys uh, to install the side shields. This side is a little different. Um, this is actually the driver's side is a little different than the passenger side. If you look, and there is a little bit more of a cutout, okay, in this shield than there is in this one. And the reason for that, Miller Cat wants you to be ready for um, something that might happen in the future with like the state of California and smog, okay? This is a little cutout here so you can actually see the driver's side cat if you, when you go to have your car smogged, okay? Uh, just so you don't have any issues with, you know, your smog inspector. So, Miller Cat does recommend you install everything by hand, but I am a professional and I'll be using power tools because I've done a couple of these shields. They just don't want you to strip anything and end up with any problems. All right, well this thing's looking pretty darn good and we can go ahead and start installing under the car. Okay, so under the four winner seat we have our two cats here and that is what we're trying to protect. But first, we're gonna need to remove this bracket you have here and this bracket that you have up here. We will be reinstalling these guys but we're gonna replace two of the hardware bolts with some of the tamper proof ones, okay? Because we're gonna actually use this to hold uh, the shield in. All right, so this is gonna be four 12 millimeters, which we need the two. Let's pull them right out. All right, now time to install the big shield part. And these are going to be the guys that replaced uh, some of that hardware that's in those brackets right there. So it's just four of them. And these two long guys are what goes in the front of the shield. It goes along with this right here. We'll get to that last. So grab the big tamper proof bit we have here and let's go. All right. So we're just going to come over here and slide this part. 
open here first. Guide this guy back right here. And we'll reinstall these side brackets. So it's going to be two factory bolts and then two tamper proofs okay so they can't take this bracket off or they'll have a hard time taking it off put everything in there nice and loose okay we're gonna do the tightening up everything at the end because we still need to uh, button up the front here so if you can change your oil you can definitely install one of these shields and if you can't uh, change your own oil you can always take it somewhere and have them install it they shouldn't charge very much because it's really really not hard to do all right, so to attach the front of the shield, we are gonna have to remove this factory shield here. Um, we are gonna put it back on when we're done, but it's just gonna be some 12 millimeters. There's gonna be four of them. There's gonna be two here and then two in the front. We're gonna remove it, and then we're gonna use the plate and those long bolts to go up towards the front of the shield. So this plate will end up going here like this, okay, and you notice that it's kind of cut differently on the sides. The side of this cut here goes towards the passenger side. Now we can tighten up everything and reinstall the factory shield that was right here, and you're all done. So I want to point this out with the driver's side as you can see like I was talking about before with the bracket you can see how it's cut out on this side where you can still see the cat that is for smog inspectors um, some future thinking there future proofing this shield okay um, it's still gonna make it extremely difficult to steal this cat I mean you can't get to the front of the pipe all right well the install on the forerunner catalytic converter shield was super duper easy this thing is super nice uh, I don't think anybody's going to mess with it or even attempt to mess with it. They'll just see it, move along to the next car. Um, yeah, don't have to worry about anything rusting. I like the louvers that are in here, the cooling louvers so your cats don't get too hot. And the fact that it doesn't get in the way of any of your service that you're going to have to do to this thing. It'll never have to come off. And the future proofing on the driver's side is really, really cool. So yeah, if you want to get one yourself, uh, down in the description box, there's a link and a coupon code for 5% off free shipping. Miller Cat is the best in the industry. If you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comment box below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. And yeah, you guys take care, be safe, have a great weekend.